your time. All right. Mass airflow sensor goes into here. And it goes like this. See this little gray part? Push in the little black thing and you can get the little gray retainer out completely. Pull it out. Then you can press with a maybe with a slot head screwdriver, you press on this really, really hard, and then you should be able to wiggle this free. Okay? So this is the mass airflow sensor, and it's gonna be over here by the tank. Alright? Now in order to get this AM thing out, there was a hose. All right, there was a hose that went to the radiator overflow. All right, so from the overflow, the hose went over AEM, and it's going into the very, very, very top of the radiator. All right, so that's from here. All right, can I go like this? See it better? Hey, I got a light. All right, so sanity from here all the way to there. All right, and we're going to take that out so we can get this brute force thingy out of here. And I'm going to tuck it right here. I know it's shaky and whatnot, but that's where I've tucked it right there for now. All right, it might end up coming completely off. But now I have clean access to the brute force air intake to get it off. Okay, so... Last thing I did was take the mass airflow, no, it's the mass airflow, I take that back, uh, the AEM brute force, cold air intake is gone, it's nothing but a box. All right, so now I'm going to take a look at this, uh, this upper radiator hose, all right, this is the way this looks, that's where it goes, top of the right radiator, top of the radiator, so it's going to get disconnected from here, right here, all right. So that's the upper radiator hose, and this is what it looks like. It snakes over uh, the big fan shroud, and it goes down into the water pump. Right, hold on. I'm trying to do two. Okay, so there's that, and that's where it goes. All right, there's a Mr. Wolf pump right there. All right. All right, so I'm working on this. Upper radiator hose, I got it disconnected from over there. And it is coupled up by connectors with this little hose right here. That guy. So there's like a coupler connector right there, that black thing. There it is. And there's another one further up the chain right there. And then that little black thing goes right there. And where does he go? He goes. Well, let's see. He goes down. That's it. Says it's a thin hose. It says radiator up, right there. So that's where that's where that dude's going. So you get a feel for the whole deal. There's a thicker one. This thicker one right here, that one right there, is the one that we unplugged earlier. That goes right here. So that's the thicker one. All right. And then the thinner one. The next one down shoots up right at us. There it is, right there. It's supposed to be coupled with the upper radiator hose, and it looks like it tucks down where? Now, under the throttle. There's a throttle, right? Come on. Where in the hell am I trying to? Okay, there's the throttle. It, there it is. It dips right underneath that throttle cable. All right. So that's what that guy does. All right, let's finish off this upper radiator guy. Go to bed. I'm just a bill. Yes, I'm old. All right. I'll take this fan shroud off. The upper, upper fan shroud. Two 10 millimeters. One there. One there. And then I think it's four brackets. One there. One there. And then two on the corresponding side. So you and you let's see upper fan shroud came out without incident lower fan shroud still there now we are going to go after the fan and see how that goes so loosening up that fan clutch bolt was a little tricky i ended up putting a 
strap wrench. Well, I took the serpentine belt off and put the strap wrench on the water pump pulley and held it down, and then I was able to uh, loosen that bolt up. So, fan is coming off. All right, fan is off, as is the lower fan shroud. Cleaned it up a little bit. It's still pretty dirty down there, but now I'm really starting to. Oh my goodness gracious, great balls on fire. Now we're really starting to look like we got some room to work in there. That's where we're at right now. A uh, special shout out to the last guy who drained my transmission fluid 30,000 miles ago. Or at least I'd like to think it was 30,000 miles ago, but it was probably much longer than that. But anyhow, he put it on so tight, it was as if his life depended on it never coming off again. Well, Bunny, much to your dismay, I did get it off, and it took a long time. And after trying to use a channel locks and a hammer and about everything else I could think of, the only thing that would get it off was a trip to Sears for these bad boys. And let me tell you, even with good old number nine right there, I had to hammer it on. And uh, still took over an hour. But it's off now. Now I can take the radiator out. So I just lost, uh, just lost over an hour, maybe even more, of my life because of these transmission lines that are coming into the radiator right there there's a little plastic black thing here that you move out of the way and then right there there's a little clip looks just like that there's two of them there's the upper one and the lower one and uh i use well i have about every tool i can find picks and all sorts of stuff I found online the guy used a dental pick. Well, I don't have a dental pick. But anyhow, I'll show you what worked for me. This is what happened. This is how, how I got it. I'm not even really sure how I did it. But it involved that really, really pointy part. Alright, now this is probably pretty self-explanatory. But we've got transmission cooler line I think that's what this is coming to the top part right there and it goes down and disappears underneath and then we get the lower line right there which goes back all right so after many many more hours than originally anticipated I believe the radiators coming out I got you and one that looks just like you on the other side. And the radiator comes out. We'll see how this goes. Alright, just because I don't trust myself, that's a 13 millimeter bolt. There's a big old washer, then a rubber grommet, then the bracket itself, then a rubber grommet. Bolt, washer, grommet, bracket, grommet. Radiator is out of the car. Yeah, giving us a little bit more room. That's where we're at right now. Radiator out. 